Hello. Okay, y'all. This is my first live. So you're just gonna have to bear with me and I should have turned off my notifications so I don't have those distracting me. But it's okay, we're gonna get through this. So I decided to hop on a couple minutes early, let people get in, see if anybody's hanging around, wants to join. If not, this will just be a recorded video. Hi, Mrs. Holland. And don't mind my uh, videography skills. We're gonna make this happen. Hi, Beth, thanks for joining. This is my first live, so we're gonna do this thing. So I'm just gonna, you know, let some people get in, see if anybody's hanging out, hanging around. Look, y'all got super burnt. Hi, Amy. Super burnt yesterday. I swear I put sunscreen on, but I probably should have reapplied. Hello. Let me turn my music down a little bit. we go that's better we're just in a couple minutes early let people kind of come in start trickling in we'll give it till we'll give it till time couple minutes three minutes and then we'll I'll start just going over how I Norwex in the kitchen see if anybody else is hanging out wants to join us Thank you for everybody for being on the page. This is, I'm a new consultant since um, I joined last month. Hi, Brittany. Um, I joined last month, but I'm not new to Norwex. I've been Norwexing for a while, but I would say probably about six or seven months ago, I really was like, okay, I need to start just really using these things, really figure out how to incorporate them. Um, and, uh, you know, my neighbor, Dana, is, uh, she's been um, with the company now for five years. So she has just been a blessing. She's been, super helpful. I've just loved learning from her. She's just been awesome. But, um, you know, one of the things that stick out for me in terms of like what I wanted to start changing and long before I even knew Norwex was paper towels. Like I swear I could use paper towels for everything. Like every second I was grabbing one. I mean, we'd go through a paper towel ra uh, roll in two seconds and I'm pointing there because it's still right there. My husband won't let me quite get rid of them off the counter, but we use them very sparingly. And, um, when we run out, I try to let it go for a couple days before I buy some more. So um, we just got a new set, a new pack in yesterday, but hopefully that lasts us for a long time. So anyway, that was one of the things that really just started to spark for me. And you know, having kids and just thinking about what I'm putting on my counters and um, I don't know, it just, it just became something that I was interested in, something that I wanted to change. And so then I moved to South Carolina. I'd heard about Norwex. I lived in North Carolina, heard about it there, but hadn't, um, bought anything, hadn't used it, hadn't started. Hey, sister, sister. Hi, Melissa. Um, cats do not belong on counters. No, sir. Um, so hadn't used it in North Carolina when I moved here and I met Dana and, you know, she introduced me to it and I said, she's like, Hey, you want to have a party? I'm like, okay, I love to host. Let's have some people over. So I did. And that's how I kind of got started. And so it's been about a two year journey for me. And like I said, I became a consultant last month and it's just been super fun. You know, for me, I'm a pharmacist by day. Um, I work full time with Prisma Health here and um, in the hospitals and around some of the outpatient pharmacies and I love my job. And, um, but this has just allowed me to, you know, step into a world of something I enjoy. Um, so yeah, it's just been a fun journey. And I, I just decided, you know, I'm using this stuff all the time. I love all this stuff. So why don't I just share it with more people? And to be able to Facebook party with people, I mean, come on, that's fun. Love it. So let's see, it is 1.15, so we'll go ahead and get started so everyone can get to their beautiful day. Hopefully you guys have a nice day. We've got a nice sunny day. I shipped my kids off to the pool with my husband so that I could have some quiet time. And Brittany, why do I look familiar? Tell me, I think I have short-term memory loss sometimes. Sometimes it's unnerving. Melissa, tell Kenston, tell my niece, Poo, I said hi. Hi, Kenston. Mwah. So we'll go ahead and just get started. So I figured, why not, you know, just talk about how I use Norwex in the kitchen. This is super informal, just something to try and be, you know, as informative as I can with you and just, you know, ways that I've started to really go, okay, this is how I'm going to start Norwexing. This is what I'm going to use. So I keep a Spiri sponge and Enviro sponge and my dishcloth in cat get down 
in my kitchen, right at my sink, okay? Um, the Sperry sponge, okay, little scratchy. Don't know if you can hear well on these things, but we're gonna try. So a little bit scratchy, kind of like your SOS pads, but like not harsh on your hands. The Enviro Scrub has a little bit of a softer scratchy side, so not gonna, you know, get as, um, not as harsh as the Sperry sponge, a little bit softer, but still some scratch to it to get, you know, some of the gunk off. And then the soft uh, side of the sponge, okay? All of your Norwex items will have tags on them, okay? So see, it has Norwex and it says backlock. So anything that, oh, Prisma, cool, Brittany, awesome. Good stuff. Um, so all of your tags will say backlock if it has the backlock technology, which as we've learned is that antimicrobial, the antibacterial, the, ant the silver lining. So it's got that silver in the lining of the microfibers, which removes, not kills, removes the bacteria. And what it does is it traps it in there. And then as it's drying, it will work to uh, purify the cloth. And so you know, really like, can you use a regular sponge? Of course you can. So, you know, you, but what those do is it, you know, holds on and hoards that bacteria and can create the mold and the musty and the grossness and all of that. And it doesn't like purify itself. So that's the difference with Norwex and the patented um, technology with the backlog. So I have one of each of these and I will put a disclaimer out now. My husband does the majority of the dishes. Okay. So he also gives the uh, approval for these things. Um, I will say when we first started using them, I think he used them probably not the best way. So he would use the Spiri on everything. So he would get a super gunky um, pan, which I don't have a super gunky one here. Hi, Ashley. And he would just like immediately go in with a Spiri sponge and wipe it off. I probably wouldn't recommend that just as much because you know, this does have nice ways of trapping the food um, and you can rub it against itself to get it out, but I would still rinse off your stuff and use this for the you know parts of the gunk that like really aren't gonna come off. Um, so Spiri sponge and Viro sponge, kind of interchangeable depending on what you're cleaning. The netted dishcloth, y'all, I'm telling you, like I posted that video and it says like the item you thought you would never need, but you so need it, like it's so true. It took me forever to start using this. And I don't know why I was like, okay, what what is this thing, right? So this, and you can cut it, people cut them in half. Um, you know, I choose to keep it full because you can really use it also as a sponge and it doesn't have the backlock, okay? No backlock, but you can see it's got a lot of openings here and, and large openings that things can fall right through it, okay? So it really is easy to get clean and get the stuff out, but it just works so well on those pans that are super gunky. Don't head straight in with your Spiri sponge, use this and you can use soap, doesn't matter what soap, you know, you're not, it doesn't have the microfiber, it's not gonna, you know, um, ruin those fibers by coating them. Um, so you can use whatever soap you want. I have finally now have dishwashing liquid with my consultant kit, which we'll talk about. So pour it in there, okay? Wet it up, you can move it around, okay? And it really essentially acts, acts, acts like a washcloth or a sponge. And then you can use that to get into your pots and pans and whatever you need. I cooked eggs in this this morning, so I'm just gonna kind of scrub off the eggs that are around the edge, okay? And this is really what we use mostly as our sponge, okay? Works like one, it's great. What you can do then if you want is finish up with your Enviro, that way you know that you're getting the bacteria off with the microfiber, okay? You can finish up with that. If you have something that's super grimy on there, it won't come off, use your Spiri sponge and you can hear the scratchiness of that, okay? So again, those are the three items I keep right at my sink. The nice thing about this dishcloth is, come on water, okay? It would have had all the gunkiness in there like you've seen in some of the videos and you can just rinse it right out. Everything falls out so nicely. My video that I did yesterday, I finally got some protein testers. I was like, I'm doing an egg video. Oh, sorry, I'll pull that up. I'm doing an egg video and um, I used this to clean up the egg and it just picked it right up. It was great. So that's that. Rinse it out. Everything's good. I hang it up here for it to dry for the next thing. Okay. Other things I have around my kitchen. So this is an Enviro. Probably not what you would need to use to like dry your hands. Um, I would say more the kitchen cloth kitchen towels would be good for those, but really you can use whatever. I don't have as many kitchen towels right now, so I've got more of these. So I just keep them hanging 
right now not the best you know probably option but I just hang them kind of wherever oh sorry y'all wherever I can put them okay so I would like to find a better way to do that a cuter way to do that but right now this is what we have my husband doesn't love that I have things hanging all over the kitchen either but you know whatever so this is an enviro so I keep something whether that be a kitchen towel kitchen cloth right here so that when I'm drying my hands I can use these items and I'm not grabbing like I have to tell myself like don't grab for the paper towel and now I've gotten in the habit that I, I don't grab for it anymore so it's nice you know we, we save the planet a little bit we don't waste that I use my paper towels for things that I don't want to you know like the cat puke and the, and the things like that you know um, and I save those for those that kind of time and I use these on a daily basis for us to dry our hands and to clean um, let's see Jordan used my net on the grill can I wash it in the washer or would it clean that or how would I clean that? Um, if you're able to, are you not able to just scrub it off? Like if you just try to scrub it off under the sink, otherwise I think it would be perfectly fine to use in the washer or just soak it in your sink and see if it just gets some of that off. Um, you might not need full on wash versus just letting it soak. Um, but we can definitely talk more about that for sure. Melissa, way to go Jordan. Jordan's my brother-in-law, I can say those things. Okay, so this is an Enviro and it has the, um, it's the scrubby corner one. I have not really used this as much until recently and I kind of like it. My kids, I have them sit sometimes over in the living room and they just like really dirty up that little table in there with snacks and fruit and juice and whatever they want to, you know, throw on there. And sometimes I don't clean it up until later and it's like really sticky. And this has been really nice to just kind of like help clean that up and have a little bit of this abrasion on it, you know, where it can kind of pick things up. So Enviro with a scrubby corner, okay. Have that hanging right here. I have another Enviro here because I've just kind of gotten used to having two, one wet, one dry, you know, sometimes both wet, but at least I've got two in there. I can have some options. It turned a black color. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, we'll, we'll talk about that. Maybe we can just try a rinse and see how that goes. And um, maybe I can send you a sample of some of the laundry detergent that you could rinse or the boost or something that you could rinse it in and maybe we'll be able to fix that. Um, and then right here I have hanging this is a kitchen cloth so you can see the size of the cloth the towel is much bigger um, and this is really good if you can tell see how it has more of a ribbed pattern it's got a little bit more of a separation in there okay and that allows it to pick the crumbs up really well so that's why I usually um, am starting to use this now for like dry things and just getting the crumbs and things off of my table um, and I used it for coconut flour the other day and you can I don't know if you would be able to see can you see the little white so it really grabbed those crumbs off the table really well off my counter um, so yeah so that's the difference between the kitchen cloth again has the tag over here it tells you kitchen and it has backlock so you know that it has the backlock and you know that it's the kitchen cloth so always look at your tags the other thing that I've used a little bit more and I have hanging here um, and this is not backlock, but it's the fruit and veggie um, cloth. Super soft side over here, and then scratchy, okay? Not to the point where it'll scratch off the skin of your fruit or vegetable, but it like really gets like, you know, mushrooms, think of the black stuff, and just anything on your fruit. You know, you've got that like nastiness and the little top part. Um, my daughter loves tomatoes and she could eat them like apples, you know, but I can take it put a little water on it and I just wipe this all around it and then it's like super nice and gets all the yuckiness off and it's great. So I have actually been using this a lot more lately, surprisingly so. So I've, I've really liked this because that scratchy side gets that off. And again, then I'm using water and I'm using this cloth and I feel good about what's going on it and love it. All right, so I'm gonna move here for a second. So I put the disclaimer out. These are currently on back order. But I so wish they weren't, and I will keep you posted. And if you join my VIP page, I will so keep you posted on when these come back out. But this is the little counter cloth box set, okay? I keep it here, and essentially what I'm using it for is what I would typically use for a paper towel. We also, as you can see, I need to clean that one. My kids used that. Um, using it for napkins too for the kids so we're starting to try to do that my husband's kind of like really can i just get a paper towel <laughs> but i'm trying i'm trying to start using these as paper as um, like our napkins when they're eating and stuff too so i will show you a little demo here 
Let's see. Sorry, y'all. I told you my videography skills are not going to be great. But you can see here, there is a paper towel. There is the counter cloth. Okay. Now, I have one fourth cup water in each of these. Okay. I used that here. So I can put this in here. Can y'all see this? The comments. I think y'all can see that. Okay. And then put my counter cloth in here. Okay. So push them down. Great. Do, do, do. Soak it up. All right. And there's your paper towel. And there's probably still, still tons of water in there. And then you've got your kitchen counter cloth. And it's completely soaked up the water and there's nothing left. Okay, so just a quick demo, just something kind of just to show you. Again, they're on back order. I do apologize, but I just, there's no way I couldn't show you these because when they come back out, I'm telling you, I love it. And I want to have ones for like, you know, my bathrooms and things like that, just because they're super cute too. It's nice little decor for your kitchen, but you can see not dripping water is completely in there just to show you, you know, the quality and you know, how thick and how absorbent they are for just your quick little spills and things you need to wipe up. These are also um, great. Okay, what else? Okay, so here then I have on this side, and this was part of what I wanted to do for myself. I was like, okay, I need my stuff in my kitchen, so how am I gonna do this to try and really incorporate? And this was, you know, six, seven months ago. So I have my sponges, I've got my things in my, in my sink. I have my counter um, box set, which was to replace my um, paper towels. And then I said, okay, I'm gonna put this over on this side of my kitchen. So when I'm over here and I need to wipe my hands off, I can. So this is the chenille hand towel. They are super duper cute, super soft. Um, has that chenille, um, I don't know what we call these little thingies, but these cute little thingies on the um, towel and it has back lock, okay? So when you're using this, you have that anti-bacterial um, uh, silver woven in here as well. Okay, and then I also have it in my bathroom over here. I just got this one with my consultant kit, and so I have it here hanging in my bathroom, and it's just super cute, and I love it. So, they also have really cute stuff, functional and cute. Okay, so, if anybody doesn't have questions on, like, kitchen stuff, that's just kind of my little synopsis, my little breakdown of how I've started to use my Norwex in my kitchen, just to start trying to incorporate some things. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. I know sometimes it's like, you're looking at this stuff and you're like, okay, well, I've, but I have all these things now. What do I do? How do I get rid of stuff? What do I do? Um, so hopefully that helped kind of like give a generalization. So, all right. I also am using, and let me tell you, I'm not even kidding. The Rinse A Plus and the Ultrazyme, um, dishwasher detergent. Okay. We've used Cascade for years. We've done, and finally, like when I, um, got my, uh, no, probably about, probably about six months ago as well. It was on sale, I think. And I got some Ultrazyme and some Rinse Aid from my neighbor, Dana. And my husband's like, really? We use Cascade. They're like, we really have to use this stuff. <laughs> and I was like, come on. Yes. Like let's, let's use it because you know, I want good stuff on our, um, silverware and our cups and things we're putting in our mouth. Right. Okay. I'm not even kidding. I even had to ask him the other day. I was like, okay, you are using Norwex, right? Like make sure before I go, like put my claim out there that you're using it. And like, my cups and dishes are super duper, like, can you hear that? Can you hear the squeakiness? Like, I love it. It's, they're dry, you know, like the jet dry kind of stuff. Like, it really works. There's no water spots. They're super duper clean. I am super impressed. Super impressed. And void of, you know, anything toxic that could possibly be going on the things that we were going to be putting in our mouths. So, like... Ultrazyme, Rinse Aid. I know, I know Melissa, your brother. But he's totally on board now, I'm telling you. Totally, he is. He's like, oh yeah, I was using the Norwex stuff and it like works really great. I'm like, oh yes, that's right. So, Ultrazyme and Rinse Aid, love it. Okay, now I have my consultant kit here, okay? So I'm just gonna show you some things out of here that I've gotten. Um, some of it I have yet to use and some of it I've used and I just have the extras now and so it's great. Okay, so here's your liquid laundry detergent, okay? Um, small, medium, large loads and an HE, one to two to three pumps, okay? So that's how, this is saying 215 loads for this laundry detergent, okay? Directions on the back, it peels open. 
this is our laundry detergent and our micro boost. Okay, so laundry detergent, self-explanatory. You would use it on your laundry detergent, you know, just your regular laundering that you would do anytime you want to use it. Hi, Lacey. And then the boost is used as a boost. So if you want to kind of have a little bit of extra oomph, maybe those gym clothes. Hi, Christy. Um, and you know, anything that just needs that, just the extra cleaning, vomit, urine, you know, whatever have you on the clothes, um, cloths, things like that. This is also how I launder my cloths. So I figured I would show you and I might just throw it together. Um, or maybe I'll just tell you cause it's my videography is going to be all a hot mess. So the way that I launder my cloths is, and I need to do that today. So I'm going to grab my counter cloths. I'm going to grab any of the cloths that I need cleaned. I do want to keep one or two available so I can use it. I fill up my sink and in this case, and yeah, Brittany, so I, my, I have sensitive skin and my kids have sensitive skin. I especially have sensitive skin. I have had absolutely no issues with this laundry detergent and the boost. Laundry detergent, um, if you go on the page, because I will never remember all of them, it is free of just about everything that you could think of that is in you know, regular laundry detergents. There's a lot now that are plant-based and things like that that have obviously moved you know, in a great direction. Um, but like this is free of all of those things. Now it's also fragrance free. So, okay. It's not going to be like where you use your downy and your softener and all that and be like just this, you know, floral smelling kind of thing. It's fragrance free also, because what they say is, you know, no smell, you know, or like a no smell is like a good clean. So this has, um, no fragrance to it too. However, the boost, and I like to use this in my laundry because I do like a little, like a little bit of that smell. I use just a half a scoop, if not a little bit less in the boot, uh, in my laundry. And my son, I kid you not, the other day, he was like, I opened this up. He's like, Oh mommy, this smells like Sour Patch Kids. And I'm like, that's what it is. I was like dying to figure it out of what it smelled like, because I'm like, this is really good. It's like citrusy or something. Um, couldn't figure it out, but told, like right off the bat, he was like, this smells like a Sour Patch Kid. I love it. I love it. So I do put a little bit in there to kind of have that boost. Um, but again, Brittany, I, I mean, I use it. I've been using it. I've used it on my kids stuff. Previously I did use a plant-based one. Um, just, and before that I used all free and clear. Um, so I've always stayed away, you know, try to stay away from the fragrances, fragrances anyway, and use something that is free and clear, but I haven't had any issues with this with my kids. So, um, Yes, that is that. How I, so laundering my cloths. So every, they say twice a year you wanna use the boost. Um, I kind of use that a little bit more often, just cause I feel like it. Um, you can launder them. So on a day-to-day -day basis, you would just you know rub them together, get the grime off, get whatever off, rinse it out, hang it up to dry. That's the idea of the cloth, you know, with the bacteria or the, um, the backlog technology. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to launder it every day. It dries, it doesn't smell, it's, you know, then is ready for you the next day. When you want to just regular clean, you can launder it with the detergent, something free and clear. You definitely don't want to have the softeners and things like that because what they um, what can happen is it'll like coat the anti uh, the uh, the silver and then cause that to not work over time and they might get smelly and you might notice over time. So that's the idea is you want to keep the silver and the fibers as clean as possible and. Um, that would be your daily, and then every, so launder them as usual every two weeks, and then the boost every, twice a year is what they say. But I really needed to get some stuff off recently of their pet to dries, because the kids just put in all sorts of, you know, like toothpaste and just yuckiness and stuff. So I like to use this, just because I love the smell of it, number one. And number two, I just think it really gives that deep clean, um, and there's nothing wrong with getting a deep clean out of your cloths. So I would fill my sink up, okay, I can show you my sink. All right, so like there's the size of my sink, okay? So I would fill that up and I would put one scoop in. It's like one scoop to the gallon of water. And then I take all my cloths, I throw them in here, I let them sit overnight or I let them sit for, you know, they say usually like 30 minutes to an hour, I think. Don't 100% quote me on that, I'll have to double check, but I believe like at least 30 minutes. Um, most people just let them sit overnight. Um, fill this up, one scoop, throw your stuff in, let it sit, and trust me, you're gonna see how nasty that water is after. It's gross. Then you can take them, you know, drain the water, rinse them out really good because you'll feel like, you know, there's the water's obviously grimy now. Rinse them out really good, hang them to dry, or rinse them out and then throw them in your laundry to get that final uh, clean. And then you can toss them in your dryer as well. And okay, so that is the boost in the laundry. And as you're doing, 
Any questions you have, throw them in there. Sometimes um, I can't multitask by reading and talking, so I will get to them, I promise. Um, so there's laundry, Brittany, awesome, because his clothes are always dirty from daycare, girl, yes. And I, and I wash my kids' clothes every day. When they, now they're home um, with someone watching them currently, um, but I wash their clothes. Whenever they came home from daycare, it went straight into the laundry and that's it. Like we didn't, you know, all the time. So yes, I feel you on that, Brittany. Okay, so other things that we have in here. So dishcloth, we've talked about. Fruit and veg, we've talked about. Here are the dryer balls, okay? There you can see them. And they make our stuff. I was reading the other day, so you know, like I said, I'm still learning about where everything comes from. I'm still learning the ins and the outs and I'm learning about the company. We are a global company that this comes, the shearing comes from Ireland and then I, um, the Lysir line, um, the body line, they um, manufacture in Italy. Super cool. So some of that, I've got the conditioner and the um, shampoo. I started to use this. I really like it. Um, you know, it's sulfate free, all those things. So does it lather like it would any other type? No, but it does still get a lather. It's not where it's just completely nothing either. So it's a nice balance um, with that. And I like the smell of it. It's very essential oily smelling. So I really like it. So I've been using that, like it a lot. These are the makeup cloths. Okay. So makeup cloths are a little bit different than the body cloth. So this is a little bit more of a silky feel, super silky feel, okay? And the body cloth, where are you, friend? Is a little bit more like your, it's just more like your microfiber feel. And it has, you know, so it feels like microfiber and it's thicker and fluffier. I really love, love, love these um, because they, they have the back lock, number one. So, you, you know, body, face, whatever you wanna use it for, quick, little cleanups, you know, maybe you went to the gym during lunch at work and you need something to just kind of wipe yourself off. Um, you know, these are really great. I use them every day now and they have just enough of that exfoliating feel that it gets rid of your, you know, the dead skin, the oil, like it just, I use this and this was the very first thing I ever used in a party. I, um, my very first party I ever went to, they were like, who wants to take their makeup off and gets to clean, uh, or gets to keep this. And I'm like, done, don't care. I don't care what I look like, I'll take my makeup off. So I did that and I was just shocked. I mean, within two seconds of water only, my face felt super soft, it was super clean. You know, all the oily and the gross, like living in Florida, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know, all my Florida peoples. Um, I'm in South Carolina, but I used to live there. Just, you know, just feeling nasty, like you need another shower at the end of the day. This is a great thing to have. Um, it's just so, it's just lovely. I love to use this um, before bed. It gets just everything off my face. Um, so love that. Let's see, what else do we have in here? There's, this is the facial mitt. Haven't used this one yet. As you can see there, got your hand in it. Nice little exfoliation here. So super nice. That one's a new one. Here's your, hang on, let me get the tag, make sure. This is the body scrub mitt. So getting rid of those loofahs, okay? But depends, you know, they give you options. Do you need all of this? No. Do you like a body scrub with your hand, you know, to get all up in there? Or do you like having a washcloth that you could use? So options, love it. This is the bathroom scrub mitt. So I've been using this a lot lately and I like to take baths, okay? I'm a super bath person. I do take showers as well, but I really love to have my bath um, and like just, you know, just chill and, and relax and, and all the things. So. I like to use this when I get out, you know, and I just kind of clean everything down because, you know, the soap can kind of get stuck in there and whatever. This is great. Scratchy side over here a little bit has that texture and then soft side here. Okay, super easy to use. Hey, and really like this. So that comes in graphite and pink. I've got the pink one. All right, what else do I have in here? Let's keep it going. Okay, other thing that I do, I got this for hosting a party and it's just a little travel bag. So I keep a little bottle of water. Okay, little bottle of water, other girly items. And then I have a travel Enviro here. Okay, and you can keep it in here. You can keep it in your backpack, keep it in your car. Um, I'm trying to get used to doing that, you know, just so I have something, if I wanna wipe something down real quick, I can, you know, I don't have to have a disinfectant wipe or, a wipe, or I don't have to have just a wipe in general. Like if I just have this with me, 
I recently got an optic scarf, and so I've attached that here, and then I keep this in my backpack. And I've got all the little things that I need. I've got my travel and biro. If I go to the grocery store, I can wipe down um, the handles, wherever my baby's gonna be, wherever my kids are gonna be sitting or touching or whatever. Um, and then I have uh, contacts because I'm super blind. Um, and so when I wear my glasses, I love to have this or my sunglasses, which I'm super bad about wearing. You'd think living in Florida for 15 years, I would get used to wearing sunglasses and I didn't. But love this, clean super good. It's the Optic Scarf and it is good on the anti-glare options because if you're like me, you have like everything in the sun in your glasses that you need because you're so blind and anti-glare is one of them. And so it is safe to use on that. So another little tip trick, you know, that I'm trying to, you know, really get used to doing is having this in my backpack because I wear a backpack to work having this in my backpack so I have this stuff available for when I need it. And it's like, it seems daunting, but if you really just like think, okay, let me just get myself together. Let me just, you know, put together a little pack, have it there and you'll start to get, you'll see, you'll start to get used to using it and grabbing it and getting used to having Norwex in your life, okay? All right, I got the Enviro wand in my, Nor um, in my consultant kit. So here's the Enviro wand. It's got that bendable feature, okay? Super awesome, hold, hold right there. It's the same as, I used this today, you know, same material as what we have like in our in the mop. So the chenille, um, chenille mop pad, it's the same type of thing, okay? Really, really traps and grabs all that stuff. Pet hair, the dust. Um, today, that little video that I put up with my son helping me, um, I use my vacuum around my kitchen and my nook area and then I went back with this and that picture that you have in that video is that was all the stuff that didn't get picked up with my vacuum so it's really nice so it's nice to use the vacuum get all the junky big stuff out of there but then to go behind with this was great and then I keep my brush and then that's what you can really use to get the dust and the grime off and throw it in the trash this is great for the dusting mitt as well. You can just fold these on, on itself and try to, you know, and, and uh, rub it against each other to get that stuff off as well and then use your hands and wash your hands, you know, whatever you feel like doing. But I love, love, love the brush for that reason because I can use this on anything I need to just throw this stuff in, this, uh, in the trash and it really pulls. And so you can use this too, like furniture, you know, anything, do your dogs get up on your furniture and then have dog hair or cat hair, whatever you have. You know, this kind of stuff, it's like a little little limp thing. You know, you can kind of really just get all that hair and that yuckiness off. All right, let me put this down. Okay, and then the other tip and trick I was gonna, um, I forgot to mention is next to my sink, so I've got my sink here. Next to my sink, I have a little drawer. And this is where I'm learning to keep like kind of all my little things that I need, including my cleaning paste. Okay, so my stove is a little dirty, not crazy, little dirty, okay? Now, the way that I clean my stove, sorry y'all, I don't know if this is gonna be really great, but is I wet my spirit sponge a little bit, okay? And if you saw my video yesterday, um, my kids' little art table where they do their e-learning and stuff now, I mean, it was covered in crayon and marker and all of that, like this cleaning paste, I'm telling you. Like, and it'll last you forever. I've had this for so long and like, can you even tell, it doesn't even look like I've used it, like at all. So, Sperry sponge, wipe a little bit, ooh, little, little much on there, wipe it. That's what gets this on the sponge, okay? So it's that flowery, marbly type of material, okay? Wet it, got it on my sponge. Let me see if I can. Sorry, is this like a good, okay. And then I just go on my stove here, use the paste all over. Okay, I'm not gonna go like, you know, spend 30 minutes or anything, but you know what? I don't have to spend 30 minutes. So right now I'm gonna do a quick little clean, okay? Get the grime of the morning, off. oh sorry, all that's bad videography. Get the grime of the morning off, okay? Throw that over here. I'm gonna take my Enviro. Come on, get it wet a little bit. Okay, come back. Don't mind my thing, when it gets wet, it starts beeping at me. Okay. I'm cleaning it up. All right, look. 
there it all is. Oh, and look, I've turned on my heater. Let's turn that off. And then I'm gonna fold it, go flat. Do this one more time. And voila. Okay. So that's it. And all the grime and nastiness is now on my Enviro and I've picked it all up off my stove. So really awesome stove or stuff. Okay, let me make sure. Love those. I'm assuming, Melissa, you're talking about the body cloths. Uh, yes. Hi, Yomari. Hi. Hi, Natasha. Bag queen. Who am I? Am I the bag queen, Melissa? What bag? I probably have lots of bags. Is the website posted in Lacey's group? Yeah, for ordering? Yes. Lacey, yes, paste. Got it. What exactly is the paste, Brittany? I can tell you. Or why or what? What? Got it, girl. I see it. Okay. So what is in the paste? It is, and I can tell you, sorry, y'all. So not good at this. Okay. All right. So active ingredients is marble, flour, natural soap, and traces of coconut oil. Okay. No phosphates, poisons, or acids. Biologically, environmentally, and skin friendly. Now, would I say go like throw it all over your skin and all that? I mean, probably not. I mean, I would still like, you know, not just lather your body with it. We certainly want to be like cautious with what we're using. I have not done that and we don't want to be doing anything like that. But, um, you know, you, I, I have gotten it on my hands. I don't use gloves and I've been fine. I would just, you know, if you have sensitive skin, if you have anything like that, I would certainly just, you know, make sure that it's, it's not going to irritate your skin. But that being said, active ingredients, marble flour, natural soap, and traces of coconut oil. Okay, and that's listed right on there. All right. Is it safe for all stovetops? Okay, so what it says is not for use on brushed stainless steel, nickel, pewter, aluminum, and wood. Okay, may scratch natural services as granite, marble, and quartz. So I don't use this all over my counters. I don't use this like everywhere, you know. And and on my kids' table, I don't even know what the top of that thing is. I didn't. I don't care. So if it scratched it up, I was like, it's fine, whatever. Um, so I'm not even sure um, if it was, you know, great for that or not. But it didn't scratch anything, and it was good. But again, not for use on brushed stainless steel, nickel, pewter, aluminum, and wood. May scratch natural surfaces as granite, marble, and quartz. And I think some of that too is like just you know, how gentle you are with the product. Um, all right, makeup cloth, yes. Hi, Kinsley. Okay, so I have totally talked y'all's ears off. Let me think if there's anything else in here that I wanna go over and tell you about. Let's see, bathroom cleaner, um, do you need it? You know, like you don't necessarily need it. It's concentrated. You can use it like concentrated in the toilets. Um, or you can also, and it'll tell you on these as well. And I can, if you have any questions about any of them, um, just shoot me a message or comment or whatever. Um, dilute one ounce of this in seven ounces of spray in a spray bottle. And then you can, um, you know, this goes a long way. So you can use it as a spray cleaner by diluting it, or you can use it concentrated. Um, and that also goes, I keep this. I made my little multi-purpose cleaner out of my laundry detergent. So I used eight ounces of water to a tablespoon of the laundry. Where are you? Whoop, dropping things. Yeah, and I use that on my carpet. Um, I use it on my flooring. I used it on my couch last night because my cat decided to throw up again. Y'all, my cat has issues. We have got to take him to the doctor. He is just eating and then puking and eating and then puking. So TMI, but it works really well. It got every stain out. It did not mess up my couch. It did not mess up my fabric. Disclaimer, I would still test it on your stuff before you go and use it um, like anything because obviously I don't know what fabric you have, but I just didn't care and I threw it on there and it was all good. Um, so yeah, multi-purpose cleaners. I think that's it. Um, I have a bath towel. If y'all want to see a bath towel, we can do that. These are microfiber. And again, they feel like the body cloths and they dry you up in like two seconds. All right. This is the bath towel. It's huge. I love it because around my body, it goes all the way around and I can tuck it in. I'm like, yes, this is great. You know, it's not like where it like closes like right here and you like can hardly cover yourself. So it's really, really nice. It feels like microfiber, okay? Gotta like that feel. It feels like microfiber, but for me, it feels like it pulls off all the yuckiness, the water, everything, and they are thin, 
okay? They are not your typical fluffy big old towel, okay? That's just not how they're made and it's not the point of it either. You know, it's got that microfiber, it's got that back lock and it's gonna um, really just grab everything off. Kinsley, you're at the beach. Oh, awesome. I'm about to go to the pool, although I feel like now the weather's looking a little weird, so we'll see how long I'm there. So again, super, super thin, but long, and it lets you, um, you know, you can wrap it all around, and it feels great. So I have come to like this, but you have to like that fiber, that microfiber feel, okay? It is microfiber. It does feel like that. All right. I think that's everything that I have for right now. So again, here's my kitchen, Speary. There's my kitchen stuff to clean. I've got each little option. You know, these the Speary sponges are $10.99 for two. You know, so some of this stuff is very affordable and will last you and go in a long way. And again, the idea behind Norwex is, yeah, you can go buy any of this stuff elsewhere. And there are, you know, other options, but it's, these give you options to know that you are, when I'm done at the end of the day, I have cleaned and removed the bacteria from my counters that my kids are touching, that I'm touching, that my food's touching, my dishes are touching, and it's removed the bacteria and it's cleaned it. And we, you know, we know that from the testing that has happened and we, you know, show that through the rapid residue test, protein test um, that I showed in the video that I showed you yesterday with the raw egg, with the chicken demo. So that's the difference. And then when you have these, they do last you a long time. You do have a two year warranty on them. You know, Norwex really just does a good job. And that's why I've enjoyed jumping into this because I just really like this stuff. And I'm like, I can have so much fun just sharing this stuff with people. I'm using it and I can share it and we can have fun. And that is how they advertise. Post rewards is how they advertise. So they don't, you know, spend the money on commercials and things like that. And they, they really just put it into their host rewards. And that's what Lacey and Melissa are doing right now. They're hosting a party. And basically out of this, they get to share this with their friends and family. Um, you know, we get to educate and just share about Norwex. We're not here to convince. We are not here to make you put this in your kitchen. We just simply want to share, you know, our love of Norwex with you. And I'm hoping, you know, this kind of helps you see how you can incorporate it into your life. Um, and then you can ditch the rest of the chemicals, okay? And what they get out of the party is they get, in, you know, um, rewards for lots of things. You know, they get shopping spree money based on, you know, what he, what people want to choose to bring into their home and order. Um, they, you know, get rewards for buying guests. If somebody books, you get a window cloth. So there's other things that occur. You know, it doesn't just mean that someone has to come in here and go spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's not the idea. It's supposed to be, you know, what works for you, um, you know, what you want out of it, but you can still get things just for simply having somebody, you know, enter a, an Enviro cloth into their lives. You know, that's a buying guest. And so if you have five buying guests, you get a free Enviro cloth. If you um, have somebody book a party, you get a window cloth. So I love that they do that because it just, that's the way that I learned. You know, I, I became a host, I hosted a party, I got some free things and I got some stuff from the host rewards. And now I've learned how to put it into my life and now I just, I love to use this stuff. So are there any other questions? Let me go through and see. Kinsley's at the beach, we know that. Mm -hmm. Get your tan on. Lacey, thank you for going live. Absolutely, you know, this is my first time, like I said, I was like, oh, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm like, you know what? This is just, I, I know people are probably where I was six months, a year, two years ago. What does all this mean? Why do I want this? How does it come into my house? Like you know, or how do I incorporate it into my cleaning? And I'm like, you know what, this will be good just to be informal and tell people how do I Norwex? And I'm still Norwexing, I'm still learning some of the stuff I've never used. So I'm excited to keep Norwexing. You're welcome, Alyssa, love you too. Hi, Casey. All right, so I'm hoping this video will save and I can put this on the page. I am gonna hope that I can do this right. Um, but I think that's it. Thank you for joining. This was so fun. I hope it was, you know, helpful. Um, and again, let's keep partying it up. If you guys have anything you um, want to see or have questions about, um, just shoot me a message. If I haven't used it or I don't know about it, I'll go to my peeps and I'll ask them about it and I can tell you what I know and what I learn. And um, yeah, so let's keep partying and thank you for being here and I'll see y'all later. Ah, you're welcome, Brittany. Mwah.